The call for prayer resounds in all corners of the Gaza Strip as the sun rises to usher in a new day, the day of Eid al-Fitr. The chants of Eid mark the end of Ramadan, feed the faithful together for Eid prayer and initiate communal celebration. Hamas Prime Minister Ismail Haniya, who is rarely seen in public, led a prayer session joined by hundreds of worshippers congregated in a stadium in Gaza City. Prime Minister Haniya gave a sermon following the prayer in which he called on the international community to embrace the recently issued Goldstone's report on Israel's war crimes in Gaza. He also expressed the unwillingness of the people to accept agreements with Israel that infringe on Palestinian rights. Haniya did not fail to remind listeners of the significance of this particular Eid. This is the first Eid after Operation Cast Lead. This marks the perseverance and steadfastness of our people, men and women, with heads held high. Therefore, we will call the occasion the Eid of Victory, Victory of the People and Victory of Martyrs. But the devastation and destruction of the war is everywhere to see. For some, Eid brings only remembrance. Remembrance of a home that no longer stands. Remembrance of loved ones forever gone. Um Subhi goes through the motions this morning, tidying up the tent in which they live, preparing traditional Eid sweets for her five children. She is doing her best not to reveal how she really feels, for their sake, on this particular day. Ibrahim was only eight when he died during the war. The Israelis destroyed our home, but we wouldn't have cared if they left us Ibrahim. He loved Eid, and this is our first Eid without him. I keep seeing him in front of me. My baby boy, I thought I was used to life without you. Today my wound is raw again, and I can't bear it. Without Ibrahim, without a home, on Sobhi, her children and her husband celebrate Eid, a holiday that for them and many others will only serve to remind them of what they have lost. But as night falls, the streets of Gaza tell yet another story of a resilient people. Though physical and emotional reminders of both war and siege are evident at every turn, Gazans are determined to make the best of what they have. Some gather in groups, talking, laughing and eating, while others make their way to the only amusement park in the Strip. Run down and falling apart, it nevertheless provides children with a chance to forget, if only for moments, their dismal lives. As the first day of Edel Futter draws to an end, festivities show no sign of fading, testament to the will of Gazans to seize every opportunity to rise above the grim conditions of their everyday lives. So